Hey guys, it's Alan from DW again, and welcome back to SoundWorks. In this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the instrument designer. You'll be able to create your own instruments from your own samples, both one shots and round robins, uh, multi-layer. I'll go through that with you. I'll show you how to assign it to a pad. We'll go through some of the MIDI settings for that. And then finally, we will save it as an instrument and we will also save it within presets so that you can use it anywhere you want in other kit presets. Let's get started. Okay, I'm in SoundWorks on the drums page. You can find the instrument designer on the bottom right. It is currently grayed out because we have a hi-hat or a populated instrument selected. So anytime I select a populated instrument, you cannot access the instrument designer. If you select an instrument that is empty, like this cowbell, you then see that you have access to the instrument designer. And we'll go through this in just a second. Uh, let me say that you can use X pads, although I use X pads for layering, you can use them for a regular instrument as well. Uh, and trigger those from extra pads. So there you go. The difference between the two is that the X pad, you'll find that name here as well, is located in the mixer under X pads. And then this will populate when I add samples. And otherwise, if you choose an instrument, in this case, instrument 19, it'll be located in the mixer under instrument 19. So that will populate if I uh, add samples to that. We're going to use the XPad for this example so I can save it and then show you how to move it around and put it in other presets and so forth. So XPad, let's go down to the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to leave the name alone for right now, but I'm going to choose the category, which is an FX. It is a cowbell, so we'll leave that alone. And I can add more information. This is helpful in case you run into uh, samples years from now and you're not sure if you added them or not. I can say that this is a 009 LP uh, rock cowbell. Okay, so that'll be handy down the road. Uh, there is no shell size or heads, but you can add that as needed. And you can close that back up. In this example, I'm going to be using three layers, but you can go up to 18. And if you watch to the right, as I choose my layers, the velocity range will automatically update to match your layers. So I have one, two, three layers, and I hit 127. We're gonna be doing the main articulation. We will add a second one a little bit later. It is the direct mic group, but if you have multiple mics, you can choose any group. So if you have overheads or ambient, you can choose one of those folders and you can choose up to five mics. That's both mono and stereo, one, two, three, four, and five uh, for each mic group. So you can have 15 mic signals. That's basically your wave. So if you have, say, a room group that's stereo, that's still one wave. It only counts as one of the five. Let's go ahead and add our samples, our first layer here with a little plus. I'm gonna go to my desktop Rock Cowbell, and I'm gonna to go to Edge first. That's my main one. I'm gonna go choose my level one, A through D in this case. Hit open, you'll see they populate right here. These are gonna be kind of loud. They're, at, uh, they're normalized to zero. And this is where I'm gonna stop and give you a little bit of a hint. If you are simply using a one mic capture like this is, then you can go ahead and normalize here and I'll show you how to adjust in the articulations panel in a moment. If you are using multiple mics, like you have multiple mics in any groups, direct and or overhead, ambience, et cetera, I would highly suggest you go ahead and normalize all your samples to minus nine. Don't worry about the range. Soundworks takes care of the velocity range and the volume change for you, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Let's go ahead and move on and I'll show you how all that works. Uh, let's go add our second samples, A through D, and our third samples, A through D. Okay, so now I have all 12, uh, four round robins for three layers. I can now uh, preview this up here, see how loud it is. As you can see, we default to minus six, so we're hitting at minus six, like that. If I want to gain stage to say minus 10, then obviously I would bring this down four more to minus 10, and now I'm gain staged minus 10. You're here in level three or the highest level at the moment. If you want to hear something a little bit lower, which would be equal to like level uh, 16, this would be equal to level, level 13, these pads. That's full. That would be level 13. Just want to make sure you understood that. So let's go back to our instrument designer. I want to go ahead now and move to my second uh, articulation. So I'll come back to articulation, choose add one, and do the same thing for my top layer of the cowbell. So I go to my top folder, choose my first four, okay. My second four, okay. And my third four. These are a little bit more piercing because it's the top. 
Um, and again, I would come over here to my articulations and bring that down to minus 10 so that now they are going to match. Makes sense. While I'm here, let me go ahead and assign my MIDI. So in this case, I'm just going to use one, but you have to use uh, two digits. So that'd be 01. And I'll just use 02 for my second example. So I have my edge and my top of my cowbell. You can now go ahead and start doing your equalization and everything, but this does not get saved as you save an instrument. So I would go ahead and go to my down arrow, click Save Instrument. It will take me to my personal documents, Drum Workshop, Soundworks, Instrument on Windows. I'm not sure what that would be on Mac, but I'm sure you guys know. So I will call this my LP Rock Cowbell and hit Enter. So now I can load that cowbell anywhere. I can load it to the cowbell if I want to by right-clicking, load, and load that cowbell. And there it is. Okay, and I can go to other presets. Let's go to, uh, let's just do our 50th natural. Same thing. I have nothing here on this kit now. I can right-click, load, and load that cowbell. And it's ready for you to mix with that kit. So it's as simple as that. Uh, you can save this preset once you have your cowbell mixed in, which I can do that real quick, actually. Let's go to EQ. And um, don't judge me. I'm just going to put some numbers in here. Let's go with 4 and 8. That's close enough. A little bit of a dip. Let's say around... Yeah, that's good. And 200 is good. So that'll be my EQ. I'll alt-click it. Turn it on. So I, let's listen before and after. That might be a little bit much. Uh, move on to our compressor. I'm going to leave it a default. Let's open up our attack. A little bit more on the release. I want to get a little more punch on that edge. Now, obviously, it's way too loud, so let's bring that down. Bring it back to our gain staging. And then we can add some saturation tube. Let's do like 50 drive. Give it a little bit more meat. And since this uh, sample doesn't have a lot of ambience to it, I'm going to turn on my reverb. Let's just do like a hall, but really, really low, like maybe, maybe around eight. And a little bit of a pre-delay. Now I'm starting to get a little bit of a, a stereo width to it. And you can just adjust that as you wish. And then it's ready to save with that kit. Again, just come up, save it here, give it another name, like uh, with cowbell or whatever. And give it your initials and whatever you think this is, if this is uh, rock, pop, etc., and whatever ambience you want to give it. Hit save, and it will save the kit with a preview. Obviously, this is a cowbell, so you're probably not going to hear the cowbell. But you can see we have our preset with our cowbell here, and you are good to go. That's it for this video. Uh, Adding samples is super easy. If you've got up to 15 mics, have at it, have a fun time, and get a great sound. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I'm glad you made it this far, and I hope our video helped you. I hope I was able to shine some light on a lot of the features and sound works that'll help you get started making your own presets. Please be sure, if you haven't already, to go ahead and subscribe below so that you can get notified of upcoming tutorials. I'm going to have probably several more come out that'll help you uh, dig even deeper into sound works. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.